Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats, and we're going to show you a walkthrough of the 2024 Lund 1875 Fisherman. Now, the Fisherman's a new, newer model that just came out, they came back out with it here just last year. Uh, it's been really popular, especially, it's, this boat was really designed for the guys that do the bulk of their fishing by trolling, and I'll kind of show you that in the interior layout once we get inside the boat, but it's, a, it's got a lot of room in the cockpit. Uh, so the guys that do a lot of trolling, it's just a really popular layout. It comes in at an aff affordable price and just a lot of boat for your money. Now this is a sold boat. I'm going to kind of show you the options he chose and uh, we will have a few of these in stock, but normally this is kind of a boat we like to spec order for people. Um, but this is shown in Arctic white and silver. He did uh, upgrade the graphics to the black raised chrome Lund. And then of course this boat's going to come standard with a single axle trailer. He did upgrade the trailer to the custom bunk and then went ahead and did a tandem axle also. So when you do that you get your nicer fenders, you get the nicer wheels with that upgrade, of course the matching spare tire and low, gu or low guides. Uh, now this here is not a Lund option, this is an aftermarket rock guard. We always stock these. Uh, it's just a rock guard that bolts onto the trailer and just stays on the boat. You don't have to take it on and off the boat, you know, when you're going every time you use it, which is kind of a handy feature. So this is always something we can add to any Lund. This is the aftermarket rock guard. Uh, back here in the back, on the 1875, he opted for the 150 Pro XS four stroke. Uh, plenty of power comes with a stainless steel prop. Uh, plenty of power to do water sports or any kind of boating you want to do. Of course, she did the 99 Pro Kicker also. Most guys that buy this layout are going to put a kicker on it, uh, for the majority at least. Um, of course, you got a nice three step ladder here in the back to get in and out of the water, need be. I think that pretty much covers the outside. So, what makes this layout uh, popular amongst a lot of people is the way they design the back end. So, you got a lot of room in the cockpit area here. And so, if you're running, if you're running your rod holders out the back and doing a lot of trolling, uh, or running down riggers, you can see these, you, you got lots of room to basically walk clear up to the back where uh, some of the other models have those different style jump seats where you're kind of reaching over further to, to uh, run your gear for trolling. Um, so this is kind of a cool feature they added to it too. You got a lot of room to walk up clear to the back to fish off the back. Now you got these jump seats that fold down. If you got extra people on board going from A to B, whatever the case, it's a really comfortable place to sit. Um, that's on both sides. And then of course your live well here, it's a really nice size live well, of course this uh, divider is removable. Uh, a couple cup holders here, here you got for, for when you're go on the go or whatever the case, you got nice rod storage here along the back also. So uh, you don't have to put your rods clear away in the main box. Uh, you can put some longer rods here in the side, a lockable compartment. So you got a lot of rod storage on this boat, of course you could use that for something else, it wouldn't have to be used all for uh, rods. Uh, your crank battery on this model stows clear up underneath and back and away here. There's a compartment here, so that's nice and out of the way. Uh, another really cool feature is this floor compartment, another lockable compartment, but it's just a big cavern, so you can put whatever you want here, but that's a perfect place to put a lot. You could, you could, put, you could fill this thing up with tackle, you know, <clears throat> plano boxes. And then over here you have just some dry storage on the starboard side. Um, on the port side here you got a glove box that's really big and deep. Uh, a lot of storage in this glove box here. Now your trolling motor batteries on this model stows underneath, and you still got a lot of storage on both sides here. There's a lot of open storage there, but one of your trolling motor battery goes here and one goes on the, under the driver's side compartment as well. So. Those are, it kind of levels the boat out as far as weight distribution. Here's your main rod box. There's a travel cover in there. So you can hold 10 rods in this compartment plus all that side storage. So lots of rod storage. And then here on the starboard, or the helm, now he opted with a Helix 12. So that's a 12 inch screen. We installed this one on a, what they call a Cisco mount. So you can see there's plenty of room there to put whatever size of screen you want. Uh, dash is very handy, switches are right there, easy to get to run your live wells, bilge pumps, uh, courtesy lights, etc. Uh, the kicker brand stereo, you Bluetooth that to your phone, really nice radio. Uh, you got some 12 volt power here. Um, now this here is for the kicker motor and then over here of course is the main engine key switch. Uh, let's see, of course we do tilt hydraulic steering. 
Now up here on the bow, for those that do fish off the bow, you still have plenty of room. Uh, two really big compartments, dry storage on both sides. And then here is, what, here is a uh, Helix 10 installed on the bow. Now we did this on a Ram. This is a really typical bow install. That way when you go to put the travel cover on, this isn't in the way. It's not down on the floor where you're having to worry about stepping on it or tripping over it. So when you go to cover it, you just bend it right down. Very handy way to install a bow depth finder. I think that pretty much covers the 1875 Fisherman. If I missed anything, you have any questions, please call us or email us. Our phone numbers are on our website, wakandaboats.com. You can catch us at two locations. We're in Glen Elder, Kansas. We're also in Republican City, Nebraska. Thank you.